all to this very important symposium on a very important topic which is related to thromboembolism. Ladies and gentlemen, each year one in four people die from conditions <coughs> caused by thrombosis. And this is more than combining the deaths due to AIDS, breast cancer, prostate cancer and no traffic accidents. And at the same time, research suggests that venous thromboembolism <coughs> It's a preventable and it can be prevented. And the strategies of prevention if adopted timely can not only stop the development of clots at the ACE meters, but improve the patient's life and quality of life. Thromboembolism risk is equal in men and women, but if we look at the life cycle of women, there is a slightly higher chances for them to be at risk because women undergo pregnancy and C-section frequently, which is again a risk factor. The other risk factors which we come across are smoking, sedentary lifestyle, obesity, some of the drugs, and the greatest risk factor is hospitalization itself. Many of the thromboembolic events they occur in hospitals, either post-surgery or due to a prolonged illness because of bed rest, and these are preventable. So we need to focus on updating the knowledge of our young professionals, our physicians, to dedicate time for the risk assessment of thromboembolism because prevention is always better than you. So if we can devise a preventive strategy by assessment timely, then we can save many lives. So I would like to say that blood clots are preventable and in many cases treatable if caught on time and potentially fatal if we ignore the symptoms and do not pick them. So raising awareness around preventing clots is very important and for this very reason, every year starting from year 2014, World Thrombosis Day is celebrated on 13th of October every year. And this year, the theme of World Thrombosis Day, which is internationally recognized uh, by different societies of medical profession, including the World Thrombosis Day, which is mostly supported by the International Society of Thrombosis. The theme for this year is Keep Life Flowing. And with this very theme, we